Hey there, this is Ed Herzog with ElementorServices.com, and today we're going to take a look at how to use the shortcode widget in Elementor. So let's jump right into it. So let me say first of all that the shortcodes and the shortcode widget are in general fairly easy and straightforward to use. That being said, there are a few nuances that you should pay attention to when using shortcodes. So I'm going to cover how to use the widget and then also these couple nuances that I want to talk about. So you see here on my website, on the Elementor Services website, I have this page, I just added this a couple days ago, called Elementor Free Tutorials. And what I have here, if you scroll down, this is a playlist from my YouTube channel that includes my various videos where I cover features of the free version of Elementor. And this is being pulled in, these videos are being pulled in via shortcode by a third-party app. That's where you normally get shortcodes, is from a plugin or an app one of those two places, you get the short code, you add it to Elementor, and then it generates the content. So let's take a look at how to do that. So here we are in that same page, but now we're in the Elementor editor. And you see here that I've temporarily deleted the short code widget. This is where it was. Now I'm gonna add it back in, and I'll put in the short code, and we'll see what happens. So let me find the short code widget, drop that in, and then add in the short code. Now, what you're going to see here is that the display here is not correct. This does not look right, right? It doesn't look good at all. As I scroll down, it actually does look okay. And if I move this out here, this is the same as we saw on the other page. You have the three columns of the videos, but that top video here is not displaying properly at all. This is something that often happens with short codes on the back end: is the display is not correct. But we're gonna look at the preview now and you're going to see that on the preview, it actually looks fine. So let me go ahead, come down here and click on that. Let me scroll down here, and you see here, this looks exactly the same as what we were looking at before. So again, it doesn't look correct here, but it does on the actual version of the web page. So just be aware of that when you're working with short codes in Elementor, is that many times it won't look correct on the back end, but I've never had a problem with it looking correct on the front end. Another thing to be aware of is you can't edit the settings of the short code itself, within Elementor because that is being controlled by the app or the plugin. So for the settings for the app or the plugin, you obviously have to go to that to change a short code. You do have these advanced options, however, so you can add margins, padding, Z index, uh, CSS ID or classes, motion effects, background, border, mass positioning, responsive attributes, or custom CSS. So this, those things you can modify here within Elementor, but the actual way in which a short code is displayed the content is displayed that you cannot edit. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to edit the settings of the shortcode itself, at least in terms of this example that I'm working with right here with this YouTube plugin. So right here, you see the plugin that I'm using to generate the shortcode. It's called YouTube WP. If I hover over that, you see right here, they have a shortcode generator. So let me click on that. And since I'm going for a playlist here, what I need to do is enter the URL. So I'll do that and go ahead and hit verify. So if I scroll down here, this is the same short code as what I put in that page. Now, this is very important. What you need to do when you change settings within your app or your plugin is you need to pay attention to whether or not the, the actual short code itself changes. If the short code does not change, then the page should update automatically without you having to re-enter the short code because it's, it, everything is being pulled from that same short code. But if the short code itself changes, then you'll need to add the new short code into the short code widget in Elementor in order to get the new settings. So let me show you how that works. So with this particular plugin, you see here, I'm using the default options. And those default options are being pulled from the general settings. So I'm gonna go on the general settings and make a change and then see what happens here to the short code. So let me come up over here and I wanna go into general and let's make this uh, four columns instead of three, just a small change and we'll go ahead and save the changes. Come back to the short code generator, drop in that playlist URL again and verify. And this is the exact same short code as we had before. So if I update this page, it should now have the four columns. Let me go ahead and do that and we'll scroll down and there we go, we now have the four columns. I didn't have to come back into Elementor and add a new short code. It's picking up the settings from the short code that we already had. So that is one thing, you know, if the short code does not change, then the page should automatically update. But if the short code does change, 
then you need to put the new short code with into element or into that short code widget. So let me show you how that works. So here I am back within the short code generator. And what I've done is I've turned off the default options. Now let me scroll down here and let's say I want to display the video title. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And when I turn this on, I want you to watch very carefully down here in the short code. See, now the short code has changed. Now it says title equals on. So if I want to display the title using these non-default options, I'm going to need to add this new short code into Elementor. If I come over here and update this page, it's not going to display it because it's still using that old short code. Just scroll down and show you no titles. But if I come back over here and I copy this and then come over here and go ahead and add in this new short code, go ahead and update it. And then when I update over here, actually I think it already updated on its own, you see I now have the titles displayed. So that is something that is very important in terms of short codes, regardless of what sort of app you're using or or plugin you're using, pay attention when you change the settings to whether or not the short code itself changes. Because if it changes, then you need to add that new short code into Elementor. If it doesn't, then whatever new settings you've put in should automatically update. So again, my name is Ed Herzog with ElementorServices.com. If you found value in this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all of my Elementor videos. So that's all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.